Well, France has inaugurated its first ever supervised injection facility, a safe space for those addicted to drugs to be able to take their narcotics. The parasite is part of an experiment to see if the system can work 30 years after Switzerland became the first nation to open one in Bern. However, the facility comes with a few caveats. Our reporters Luc Schrego and Jean Barrère went to find out more. Just a few steps from Paris's Gare du Nord stands a particular machine. This is no ATM, but an automatic distributor for the district's drug addicts. These here are kits to smoke crack. I filled up the machine and in two hours it will be empty. They first made their appearance in 1994, freely providing syringes and crack pipes in return for ones already used. Now they're in use 24-7. They go through nearly 1,000 syringes a day. Use is always increasing. There hasn't been one year when levels have been less than the year before. And I've been doing this for 14 years. It's always going up. The aim is to prevent the transmission of viruses like HIV or hepatitis. While the machines have certainly helped, they haven't done anything to prevent people using openly in the street and leaving used paraphernalia strewn around the area. It's taken years to get a solution on track, but France has finally started with a pilot scheme for supervised injection facilities, or SIFs. We are opening a space to be used by those people who inject drugs, who've been excluded, those who we cannot reach with the means of health and prevention that we currently have in place. There are cubicles to inject narcotics, smoking rooms for crack addicts, a relaxation area, and even a medical room. A hundred people a day can pass through the facility on the grounds of a local hospital, all under the eyes of doctors, nurses, and social assistants who can help users who want to quit. Local residents, though, aren't so keen. They fear for their district's safety. Even more addicts will come here, that's for sure. And that bothers you? Well, yes, of course, because things can get really unsafe around here. There's a lot of theft. I can tell you I work just over the road. It's really not good. Perhaps it's better not to leave them in the streets, because we see them outside. Children can see what they're doing. Well, I think it would be better to take care of them medically and then to get them working for the public good, to get them back into some kind of normal rhythm. Despite such fears, 90 other SIFs worldwide have already proven effective, drastically reducing the numbers of public users. And there's more still. This place is for people already in this area. The anxiety of local residents who think people will come here from the suburbs really isn't an issue for us, since we know that people usually take their drugs where they buy them. Here, that's just at the end of the street, at the crossroads next to the Gare du Nord. Addicts inject themselves or smoke there in plain sight. For the ones we met, the new facility means a lot of potential change for the better. It will help us avoid contracting all sorts of filthy diseases, having to be with people who are more or less clean, some of them who are homeless. Most shoot up behind the little wall over there or in car parks with all the tourists and everything. And when they do it, they don't put it in the bin. They leave it lying on the ground. Even in the public toilet over there, it's not clean. So I think a place to shoot up, it's good. Others, though, have their doubts, since some people won't be allowed in. I take Scannon and crack. Scannon's basically got a morphine base. And I smoke crack. You inject it? I inject and I smoke. There'll be a big problem because the facility's only for people who inject, not for smokers. So they'll all go out and smoke outside. It'll be a great big mess. So, crack smokers on their own, no, but if they're injecting too, then yes. We asked one of the socialist MPs supporting the project if that was a paradox. For now, it seems there's not much to be done. There are different means within the facilities. There are people who inject, but the problem is that there are also people who smoke certain substances. So there are two possibilities in place in this facility, but things will be implemented bit by bit. They're saying crack smokers will stay outside. We'll see. First let the staff get to work. And if it does work, Paris won't be alone. Other cities like Strasbourg and Bordeaux should see facilities set up in the weeks to come as part of a six-year-long test run.